We are making a popular milk dessert of Turkey, Turkish milk pudding with caramel sauce. Merhaba, hi everyone, this is Ayşenur Altan. Traditionally, we have a pudding with real chicken breast in it. It is used to give its oozing texture rather than taste. But in this fake version, we get similar silky consistency and flavor. And nowadays, this is the recipe used to make this pudding. And I can assure you, with the caramel topping, it will be irresistible. So let's get started. First, I'm going to make the milk pudding so it can set and get cold. For that, I have 100 grams of butter. If you like, you can use a margarine too. But of course, the butter tastes better and healthier. And I'm also going to use 3 fourths of a cup flour. My cup size is universal 250 milliliters sometimes you are asking me and i'm going to saute the flour until it has like caramel color and nice smell coming for about three four minutes gradually you will see the difference now And actually, this part is one of the secrets of uh, getting that smooth consistency and deep flavor, browning the flour. As you can see, it is like a caramel color and uh, melted more like a creamy right now. And after this point, we're gonna uh, gradually add the milk while whisking and being careful because it's really hot so be careful with the steam and add one liter of whole milk in it after everything is incorporated I'm also adding 3 fourths of a cup sugar. With this amount of sugar, it doesn't taste too sweet. If you like more sweeter, you can add a bit more. And continue to whisk and cook on low medium heat until it thickens. Meanwhile, I would like to remind you that for your support, your likes, comments and sharings are very important so the videos can reach to more people and I will be very thankful for that. My pudding is bubbling and very smooth and in, at the end of the cooking time I am adding my vanilla powder. You can use vanilla extract or vanilla pots if you like and turn off the heat. And here comes the second hint, important steps to get that silky oozing texture. We are going to whisk our pudding with hand mixer for about 4-5 minutes while it is still hot. And here my daughter Zeynep cannot wait and taste from the pudding. Even though I said it's very hot, she enjoyed tasting it. Please don't skip this step. If you don't have a hand mixer, you can use wire whisk too. I have rectangular 20 to 28 centimeter big deep serving plate. I just added some water and swirl the plate. And now I'm going to uh, pour my milk pudding. Adding the water is important so we can take out the milk pudding after it is set easily. Since we continue to whisk for five minutes, you can see it is very 
it's silky and smooth and it will be more delicious too so it goes to fridge to set and meanwhile I'm gonna prepare the caramel topping it's very simple I have cornstarch some sugar and water it is separated because we need for thickening sauce and also for the caramel so to a medium sized bowl I'm adding one and a half heaped tablespoons cornstarch you can also use wheat starch if you like but don't use uh, any kind of flour we need starch and added three fourth of a cup water just whisk it until incorporated and set aside heat heavy bottom stainless steel preferably pan you can use saucepan I use this uh, white pan but it wasn't a good idea because it splatters then you pour the water so I add the sugar the heat is medium high after this point I'm not gonna stir and wait until the sugar melts we are making caramel sauce but we're not going to use heavy cream for it we're gonna thicken it with only cornstarch so the sugar begin to melt and as you can see after a time it begins to get caramelized color make sure you don't burn the sugar it is important otherwise it will be bitter in taste and get some nice amber color so here it is I'm just going to wait a little bit more and now it's time to add the water being careful with the steam again add it just a one third of a cup of water first it will boil and the sugar will thicken it's normal after a time it will begin to melt again you just have to wait it is actually better not to stir too much I just couldn't wait and after the sugar melted again I added the cornstarch and water mixture just going to stir it until everything is combined and you will see that it will begin to thicken and become a nice caramel sauce it's very light very easy to make just be careful with the steam again we don't use heavy cream so it really makes it more like shiny and delicious So it became a nice sauce I added a bit more water you can adjust and add more if needed if it thickens too much and it's ready just pour over our milk pudding tavuk göğsü while it is still hot and then spread it evenly the amount of the sauce We'll just cover the top of the tavuk göğsü, our meat pudding. But if you are a caramel lover, you can use a half more amount of the sugar and water and make more caramel sauce if you like. After I poured the caramel syrup, I waited for at least a half an hour more to set and then slice it wanted to uh, sprinkle some chopped hazelnuts on top and now let's see how it's gonna turn out as you can see it has its own nice texture uh, oozing uh, creamy silky at the same time looks so delicious let's give it a try 
it was really delicious my friends we just finished in two days three of us so give it a try and let me know uh, hope you're gonna like it share your photos with me from my instagram account i have many milk dessert recipes uh, classical and new ones on my channel do check them i will add the links thanks for watching i hope to see you in another delicious turkish food recipes and travel vlogs afiyet olsun